Hi there. Welcome to the Small Business Coffee Break, the series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today we talk with Diane Snyder of Rev Local about what is digital marketing? Diane has been helping small business owners get found online since 2020. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. You know, businesses are seeing what's going on uh, on social media and they kind of want to be a part of that, but, yes. but they don't fully understand what digital marketing is. Can you tell us what digital marketing is? Absolutely. So digital marketing is really about increasing your online presence so people can find you. Whether that is on social media or whether that's on search engines, whether that is um, you know, on any aspect of social media, um, but not just Google as well on the search engine side, but also Yahoo, Bing, possibly even Yelp. So it's really that broad visibility of being found where your people, your potential clients are looking. That's what digital media is. I love a little part of what you said in there because um, I know for me that's a big part of, of when I'm thinking about what I'm trying to do, digital marketing, is being found. Yes. Like, like I think if I could bring it down to two words, wouldn't that be it, right? Just so yes. digital marketing is all 100%. about being found, whether that is on Google, um, possibly ads, uh, social media, yes. and, and any other kind of, I mean, some of that translates to billboards on uh, Times Square. Absolutely. So having that digital presence is 100% that, being found. So when your client is looking for what you do, that you're present. That would be on the search engine side. And then on the social side, well, as, as they're scrolling through their feed, the more they see your brand and your business, the more it keeps your brand front of mind. And therefore, they're more likely to choose you either in that moment when someone needs something and therefore you're being referred, or if they then go to Google, Yahoo, Bing, etc., and find you there, now it becomes more uh, cohesive. And, and, and I, you know, I think that also makes it a little bit easier because, you know, some of us, you know, older, you know, I'm a, I'm a Gen Xer, uh, uh, technically. Um, and, but, you know, sometimes we, we look at the world slightly differently because we didn't grow up with digital natives. Right. And, and it's no different than trying to be found back in the 80s, just there was different ways of doing that. Nowadays, right. there are all kinds of you know, digital platforms and social media, search engines, you mentioned a few, uh, that, that are the ways that folks are trying to find that information. Right. Well, if you think about your own personal habits, and then you think of like your kids, your spouse, your friends, where are they all the time? So I even catch myself, it's a bad habit that if I'm at a stoplight, I pull up my phone to look at my notifications. If you're in a commercial, do you check your phone? You know, when you're at work and you've got a break, are you checking your social media? Are you checking Google? When you search for something, you go to Google typically, most people. Um, so where are your people? Are they online? If that's where they are, which is where everybody is today, that's where people are going. So it's having that presence. And then today, especially because of COVID, people weren't leaving their houses. So the searchability today is so much more prevalent than it was pre-COVID that having that digital presence now is so much more important. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's, so, it's, it's so ingrained in our lives, the way that we, you know, finding your people, right? Your yes. audience is, yes. is such an important thing. And, and I think that, you know, a lot of times, you know, businesses, we all try to take like a shotgun approach to those things, right? It's like, oh, hey, we want everyone to find us, which is not quite necessarily right. true, right? We, we have a, a good business understands who their audience is, who their people right. are. Uh, and, and, and digital marketing can help us narrow that search in a way we could never do before. Correct. Because um, we can literally target, right, those individuals right. specific, you know, based on the work that they do, demographics of age, where they live, uh, their interests. Yes. Uh, even where they go to find information, right? So right. If, if you find that, you know, if your product, I guess, might be uh, Instagram worthy, you know, uh, uh, you might find that that may be the best place to spend some of your dollars versus folks who are of a different demographic who are using, I don't know, uh, TikTok or uh, Snapchat or any of the other fancy schmancy things that my daughter keeps trying to tell me she should be using. 
<laughs> no, you're absolutely right. And having your presence in the space where your ideal client is. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Diane, ask them in the comments or her contact information is in the description. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Diane or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description and I'm always available via DM. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.